woman is the companion of man gifted with equal mental capacities she has the right to participate in the minutest details in the activities of man and she has an equal right of freedom and liberty with him she is entitled to a supreme place in her own sphere of activity as man is in his the ought to be natural condition of things and not as a result of learning to read and write but she by sheer force of vicious custom even the most ignorant and the worthless men have been enjoying a superiority over women which they do not deserve and ought not to have many of our movements stop halfway because of the condition of our women these are the words spoken by mahatma gandhi on december 23 2012 a three member committee headed by justice j s verma former chief justice of supreme court was constituted to recommend amendments to the criminal law so as to provide for quicker trial and enhanced punishment for criminal accused of committing sexual assault against the women the other members on the committee were justice leela said former judge of high court and gopala subramanyam former solicitor general of india the committee submitted its report on january 23 2013 it made recommendations on laws related to rape sexual harassment trafficking child sexual abuse medical examination of victims police electoral and educational reforms here in this video we summarize the key recommendations of the committee rape the committee recommended that the gradation of sexual offenses should be retained in the indian penal code 1860 ipc the committee was the view that the rape and sexual assault are not merely crimes of passion but an expression of power rape should be treated as a separate offense and it should not be limited to the penetration of the vagina mouth or anus any non consensual penetration of sexual nature should be included in the definition of rape the ipc differentiates between rape within the marriage and outside marriage under the ipc sexual intercourse without the consent is prohibited however an exception to the offense of the rape exist in relation to the unconsented sexual intercourse by a husband upon a wife the committee recommended that exception to the marital rape should be removed the marriage should not be considered as an irrevocable consent to sexual acts therefore with regard to an inquiry about whether the complainant consented to the sexual activity the relationship between the victim and the accused should not be relevant should not be relevant and next is sexual assault currently the assault or use of criminal force to a woman with the intent to outrage her modesty is punishable under section 354 of the ipc with 2 years imprisonment the term outraging the modesty of a woman is not defined in the indian penal code thus where penetration cannot be proved the offense is categorized as defined under section 354 of indian penal code the committee recommended that non penetrative forms of sexual contact should be regarded as sexual assault the offensive of sexual assault should be defined as so as to include all forms of non consensual non penetrative touching of sexual nature the sexual nature of an act should be determined on the basis of circumstances sexual gratification as a motive for the act should not be prerequisite for the proving for proving the offense offense should be punishable with 5 years of imprisonment or fine or both use of criminal force to disturb a woman should be punishable with 3 to 7 years of imprisonment and next is verbal sexual assault at present use of words or gestures to insult a woman's modesty is punishable with 1 year of imprisonment or fine or both under section 509 of the ipc this section should be repealed the committee has suggested that the use of words acts or gestures that create an unwelcome threat of sexual nature should be termed as sexual assault and be punishable for 1 year imprisonment or fine or both sexual harassment some of the key recommendations made by the committee on sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal bill 2012 that is pending in the parliament are provided below domestic workers should be included within the purview of the bill under the bill the complainant the complainant and the respondent are first required to attempt for conciliation this is very much contrary to the supreme court judgment in the vaishakha versus state of rajasthan which aimed to rescue a safe workplace to women 
the employer should pay compensation to the woman who has suffered sexual harassment the bill requires the employer to institute an internal complaints committee to which complaints must be filed so such an internal committee defeats the purpose of the bill and instead there should be an employment tribunal to receive and adjudicate all the complaints acid attack the committee opined that offence should not be clubbed under the provisions of the grievous hurt which is punishable with 7 years imprisonment under the ipc it noted that the offence was addressed in the criminal laws amendment bill 2012 which is currently pending in parliament the bill prescribes a punishment of imprisonment for 10 years or life it recommended that central and state governments create a corpus to compensate victims of crimes against the women the offences against the women in the conflict areas the continuance of armed forces special powers act afspa in conflict areas need to be revisited at present afspa requires a sanction by the central government for initiating prosecution against the armed force personnel the committee has recommended that requirement of sanction for prosecution of armed forces personnel should be specifically excluded when a sexual offence is alleged complaints of sexual violence must be afforded witness protection special commissioners should be appointed in conflict areas to monitor and prosecute for sexual offences training of armed personnel should be reoriented to emphasize strict observance of orders in this regard by the armed personnel <coughs> trafficking the committee noted that the immoral trafficking prevention act 1956 did not define trafficking comprehensively since it not only criminalized trafficking for the purpose of prostitution it recommended that provisions of the ipc on slavery be amended to criminalize trafficking by threat force or inducement it also recommended criminalizing employment of the trafficked person the juvenile and women protective homes should be placed under the legal guardianship of high courts and steps should be taken to reintegrate the victims into the society child sexual abuse the committee has recommended that the terms harm and health be defined under the juvenile justice act 2000 to include mental and physical harm and health respectively to the juvenile punishment for crimes against the women the committee rejected the proposal for chemical castration as it fails to treat the social foundations of rape it opined that death penalty should not be awarded for the offenses of rape as there was a considerable evidence that death penalty was not a deterrent to the serious crimes it recommended life imprisonment for rape medical examination of a rape victim the committee has recommended that the discontinuation of two finger test which is conducted to determine the laxity of the vaginal muscles the supreme court has through various judgments held that the two finger test must not be conducted and that the previous sexual experience of the victim should not be relied upon for determining the consent or quality of the consent given by the victim police reforms the committee has recommended certain steps to reform the police these include establishment of state security commissions to ensure that state governments do not exercise influence on the state police such commissions should be headed by the chief minister or home minister of the state the commission would lay down broad policy guidelines so that the police acts according to the law a police establishment board should be established to decide all the transfers postings and promotions of officers director general of police and inspector general of police should have a minimum tenure of 2 years reforms in management of cases related to crimes against the women a rape crisis cell should be set up the cells should be immediately notified when fir in relation to the sexual assault is made the cell must provide legal assistance to the victim all the police stations should have cctvs at the entrance and in questioning room a complaint should be available uh, should be able to file firs online complainant should be able to file firs online police officers should be duty bound to the assist the victims of sexual offences irrespective of the crimes jurisdiction member of public members of the public who help the victims should not be treated as wrong doers the police should be trained to deal with the sexual offences appropriately number of police personnel should be increased community policing should be developed by providing training to the volunteers electoral reforms 
the committee recommended the amendment of representation of people's act 1951 currently the act provides for disqualification of candidate for crimes related to terrorism untouchability secularism fairness of elections sati and dowry the committee was of the opinion that filing of charge sheet and cognizance by the court was sufficient for disqualification of a candidate under the act it further recommended that candidates should be disqualified for committing sexual offenses educational reforms the committee has recommended that children's experience should not be gendered it has recommended that sexuality education should be imparted to the children adult literacy programs are necessary for gender empowerment so these are the following in in these following areas uh, the committee the justice js verma committee uh, has recommended following recommendations uh, to amend the criminal law thank you